Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel where I post videos every week teaching you the latest strategies to help you build an impactful online business. Make sure to subscribe to the channel of learning how to scale your business is something that excites you. Today's shout out goes to Allison Creekmore. Thanks for the amazing feedback that you provided in my previous video. If you want to get a shout out in my future video, screenshot yourself watching this video and tag me on my Instagram stories or leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an ebook step by step using my favorite graphic design tool, Canva. So if you want to learn how to create an ebook to grow your email list or possibly make passive income, this is the perfect video for you. So make sure that you watch all the way to the end. So let's head over to my computer to get started. All right, so here we are on canva.com and I actually have the Canva Pro account, but even if you have the free version of Canva, you should be able to create an ebook with no problem. So all you need to do once you're logged in into your account is head over to documents. And from there, you wanna go ahead and click on A4 document. If you don't find it, you can always do a quick search up here and it should auto populate for you as well. Now, once you're in here, you could do a, a clean blank document. This is where I will recommend. And from there, you're going to have different options here. A lot of these are like templates or ebook covers. What we're trying to do is find a ebook that has anywhere from four to 10 pages. So you could hover on top. You'll see that some will say pro, some say free. Depending on which account you have, you could use either one. I'm going to do a quick search for ebook. This normally helps me narrow down what I'm looking for. Now from here, I'm able to see that this one here has 10 pages. So I could possibly use this one here. If you hover on top, the images will move and you'll be able to see the entire template without having to click on it if you don't want to. If you hover on top as well, keep in mind you'll be able to see free and pro. And you could kind of go through these and see if any of these resonate with you. This is another one that has multiple pages. And this one has four pages as well. So whatever resonates with you, you could use. I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here that we're looking at. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to click on apply all six pages. I want all of them here. So these are all the six pages that I get included. Now everything is customizable. You could edit, change colors, change the text, change the photos as well, which is really nice. And let's say I wanted to change the background of this. I don't want to use the one that came. I usually use a lot of flat lays. So I'll go to photos and I'll type in flat lays. And those are usually like pictures of computers and desks, and they're really girly. Um, they have some that are more for guys as well. Um, you could just kind of look through these and see which one resonates with you a little bit better. So I'm going to use for this one, this one here, it kind of goes with the colors. So I'm just going to drag it and drop. Oops. So just drag it and let go. There you go. And now I'm going to change also this color. I want to create, um, change it to my branding colors. So keep in mind, if you have Canva Pro, one cool feature about it is that you could upload your logo and your branding colors and they have it automatically here all the time. So I'm gonna change this to light pink and I'm gonna change the title to how to grow on Instagram. So this is gonna be a free ebook to help me grow my email list and I'm gonna be sharing tips on how to grow on Instagram. Um, obviously when you create an ebook, you could sell it um, whether you sell on Etsy, Shopify, you could sell it on your own website. You could create an ebook to get leads and emails. You could create an ebook for just pretty much anything you want. So I'm going to go ahead and change the text here. And you could change for the free ones or use the Canva Pro if you have Canva Pro. Let's see this one here. Kind of like how that one looks. So I'm going to use that one. I'm going to push it up. I'm going to delete the bottom part. And I'm going to put here by, and I'm going to put my name. 
I'll make this a little bit bigger. Keep in mind, you could pull from here to make it bigger, or you could just change the font here. Just gonna make it a little bit bigger, easier to read. Kind of like that, make this a little bit bigger, the title, center it, or you could just go here. You could put it to the left, you could put it to the right or to the middle. I kind of like it there. And I'm going to say here free, or I'm going to say ebook. Kind of like that. So now I'm going to go to the second page. So let's say I wanted to create an about me section of who I am, what I do, and how I could serve my audience. Um, one thing that you could do really quick here is that you could just change this to so about me. And I'm going to put a picture of myself here. So I'm just going to go to elements, frames. I'm going to check. I'm going to select the circle. And then I'm going to put it right here. And now I'm going to go ahead and find a picture of myself to upload. So let's go ahead and find a quick picture of me. So I'm going to use this one here for now. I'm going to double click on it and push myself to the side and right there. Now, another thing you could do also if you wanted to, you could change this as well. If you want a different picture up there, um, you definitely can. So I could do something like this if I wanted to. Um, or I could change it this way if I wanted to. So I kind of like like that. I could change this to my branding colors. And I could put my website down here if I wanted to as well. Now, one cool thing that you could do also, if you want clickable links in your template, you could actually do that. So you could put whatever website you want to put down here. And once you're happy with that, if you click on the three dots right here, you're able to add your actual link to wherever you want to drive traffic to. So I'm going to put my website here. So now when the customer downloads this ebook, if they click on my name, it becomes a clickable link, a hyperlink, and it will take them to my website. But you could put here anything you want from an affiliate offer that you have to a product or service that you sell or to your social media handles, whatever you want. You could do the same text, anchor text in here as well. You could take any information in here and make it clickable for them to head over to your products and services. So that's a cool way to do it as well. So I'm kind of happy with how this looks. And let's say you don't want this page here, like you, you're not going to use this. You could just go ahead and delete it. Another cool thing that you could do is that if you find an ebook that doesn't have enough text material like this, what you could do is duplicate this page, delete all of this information on the top, the photo, the placement, and the title. You could push this up. I would change this to a 16 in font. I think it's a lot easier to read. And what you could do is duplicate the text down here as well. So you could just select the text, select this button right here, duplicate, and you could push this down. You see, and now you have more text on the actual page, which is really cool because now your ebook is actually turning into an actual ebook and you could fill all this out right here. Now, keep in mind, you could keep the information that it has or you could just tweak it and change it as you go. And once you're happy, let's say, you know, you're happy with your ebook, you're ready to take a uh, print it out. All you need to do or download it, all you need to do is click on the little arrow button right here, download. And what I recommend downloading it is that it's a PDF print, especially if people are going to go ahead and print it from home because it gives you high quality at 300 dots per inches. You don't want to do JPEG or PNG because it won't be high quality in the sense of 300 dots per inches. So keep that in mind. So you would just click on PDF print. You could print all of the pages if you're wanting to print all of them together or you could just select the pages that you want. So for this one, I'm just gonna do the first three pages. I'm gonna do done and download. It's gonna take a few seconds to download. Once it's downloaded, you could just click on it to just look at it. 
and this is my final product it looks pretty good but this is how easy it is to create an ebook using canva that you could use for your business to grow your email list or that you could use to sell on your shopify store etsy or in your website i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions about the ebook or any requested videos that you would like me to create please let me know in the comments below and thanks everyone for watching.